Today I want to do a quick review of this uh, Sterling Chrome LED bumper lights from v VIP Moto Z. Uh, I have a 2005 Boxster S. I've been looking for um, LED, LED bumper light to upgrade the look of my car. Um, before I purchased, I was trying to look for someone a review of this product, but I could not find one. So I'm hoping that this review will be helpful to you uh, and you can decide where this is the product for you. So today I want to, I just bought this uh, from VIP Motor Z. It's uh, manufactured by Taiwan. It's going to be a direct replacement for the OEM fog line. Uh, the installation is supposed to be fairly simple, I would say. Only three screws to take out. And then plug and play. So we're going to see how it works. Um, so it seems like this is the original one. I need to take the original fixture off this. I just pull it out. Um, if I remember, some of the YouTuber they're take, talking about just unplug this one and plug in. this one and there is a polarity differences so it will be a try and error we're going to see how which way it will work so the most important question is how does it look when it's installed I would say the jury is still out the reason is how much this thing protrude outside the vehicle. That's very, very, very visible. Um, the original, the manufacturer one, it was all flush. It doesn't have this huge lips coming out. Guys, isn't sure where this is good or bad. Does this give, give the modern look? Well, I installed it. I draw a block just to see how it looks. I mean, it's definitely give you a modern look. Uh, I like the color. It's bright, white. Maybe a little bit wider than the Xenon or high intensive light this light that I have. But overall I like it. If you look at it from the side you can see the light protruding. It definitely give you a more modern upgrade look so even though this is a 2005 Boxster S now with this modification is I bring upgrade it great to look So I was having a little bit of trouble because earlier uh, the main when you have the fog light turn on, uh, it's kind of hard to see this way. But, uh, do it this way. When the fog light's on, this main light wouldn't turn on, but the daytime driving light would. Turns out. This product, the wiring 
is reversed. What I mean is, you see this little tap? Here, show the line. There's a little tap. If I have to go with the proper way of doing this, See this little notch? This little groove here. And the way this thing works, it's supposed to line out the groove and plug in. So, however, if I do that, the main fog light is not on, as you can see. So I really, I'm kind of disappointed with the volume control of this. But if I have to reverse, if I reverse this, now you can see the fog lights off. The only reason I found that out is I was matching up the black wire should be lining up with the brown wire. And the red should be lining up with the brown, yellow. As you can see, with this one, this is the other one that actually works the correct way. And that's how you wire. So by doing a little bit of experiment, uh, realize this one's defective. Probably have to contact the manufacturer, see what they, they want to do. Uh, for the meantime, uh, I may I may just install this in this way. So here's my final thought. In general, I like this LED bumper lights. The fuel quality is pretty decent. Uh, it looks good and really modernized my 2005 Boxster. Uh, I wish the light fixture is flush with the bumper uh, to be more OEM like. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I grew like, liking it. Uh, when I, <clears throat> before I purchased this product, I was looking for reviews on this product. Uh, I couldn't find one. So I hope this video really provide you the necessary information to make a decision. Um, if you like this video, Please click on the like.